Hello my fellow pals and welcome back and if you're new here then thank you for joining me and giving me a try. My name is Di, I am here at Creative Karma Design. Today I'm going to share with you the flip through of my Halloween art journal. So this is just a little traveler's notebook that I just did something fun with each day and I'm going to talk about what I learned from this process and how I'm going to use this learning process moving forward. Let's dive in. All right, so this is my journal. This has 31 pages, it is kind of chunky, and I have a whole video on this journal and how I made the cover. I will link that here. Inside, I just put my reason why here. I wanted to play and create art every day in October. That included drawing, collaging, pan painting, stamping, and generally, get messy time. Get messy time. This was in the grabby box. I just added the stamp here, pumpkin stamp. That was from Dollar Tree. This sticker is part of the 31 day set, the countdown to Halloween. And I've put it on every day. And then we end here with Halloween. And again, sticker from the box. This was just using metallic pens. And, and again, that's one of the reasons that I chose the black book so that I could use the metallic pens and October, it just kind of made sense to do something fun and interesting. So 30 days till Halloween and I didn't come in and do something every single day. I will preface that with saying that because sometimes I had to put the paint down and then leave it to dry. So what I would do is put um, like wax paper in between and then just come to another day and do something on another day. So yeah, it's not like I did all of this on the second. I might have just painted the background on one day and then just come in here and painted the background on this day and then come in here and did a bit of paint work on here. But I did come in most days and do something. So this is mostly some paint. You'll see underneath there's some red paint. I painted paint on here I did some metallic pen and then I didn't like it. So what I did was I covered that up with patterned paper scraps and scraps of paper, some stuff that I punched out and stuff like that and torn and all, all sorts of stuff. And then I just came in with more paint later on because again, I put the paper down, then I would go on to other weeks. And then as I used white pen in future weeks or white paint or whatever, I would come back and see if there's anything that I could fill in. So that was just playing with paint and paper and stuff. This was playing with, again, metallic pens and just kind of playing with designs. And then when I would do the white paint again, if I have white paint left, where can I put it? I could put it here. Now the next page is one of the funnest. The next page is one of the funnest because I did these white paint swirls they're kind of boring. I did these white blobs. Then I put the swirls in using the Kurataki brush pen. And then I was like, okay, how can I make this more interesting? I left it for days. For days, it was just the blobs and the swirls. And then, can you see? Can you see? This has googly eyes on it. Can you see? Can you see? Can you see? It has googly eyes on it. The googly eyes were from stickers that I got from Dollar Tree that I took off the stickers and put them on just like a little piece of sticker backer paper. And then I shoved them in a drawer and I didn't think about it. And then I thought, hey, you know what they will be fun on here? Googly eyes. So I've got googly eyes on a few of the, a few of these. Some of them haven't, that hasn't, but it looks like it has. But yeah, on a few of these, there's googly eyes, which is kind of fun and interesting. This was just a junk journal page, like using magazine stuff. And then as you can see underneath, got paint and pen underneath. Just did all the paint one day, then came in and did the magazine stuff, then came in and did all the letters and the washi tape. And then another day I came in with black pen and put black pen over the top. When I thought it was finished, it was never finished. Now it's finished. This one's a mixture of magazine images, pattern paper, washi tape, and pen. Again, some of them have journaling on, some of them don't. Some of them just needed it. Some of them didn't. This one again, we've got paint. We've got pattern paper. I've inked the edge of the pattern paper as well. Um, I've used the surround that was from this 
this sheet of paper was black on the outside and I used that underneath here. And then this quote is from a magazine. It just matched the paper and I just love it. And I save my magazine stuff by color so that I know, okay, if I have this page or if I have this page, all my red stuff is together, all my white and black stuff is together, all my purple stuff is together. That's how I group it. This was again, one of those, I'm just playing with paint kind of things. And I just did little blobs. And at first they were gonna be raindrops. And I just did this page. And then I thought, you know, they look like little ghosts. So I put all the little eyes on in a black marker pen. And then I cut up some vellum ghosts on for this side. I already wrote the boo. And then I did some more ghosts and I popped them off the page so that they're dimensional. You see that? So they're actually popping off the page. So it's kind of textured as well. And then I don't know if you can see, but there's metallic pen on there as well to give it some zhuzh. We're going to call it zhuzh. I like it. I don't, again, it was just playtime. Just playtime. This is another page that took many, many days to come together. And I actually did this with green paint originally. Then I put on green metallic pen over the top. Didn't like that. Came in with the brush pen. Kind of liked it a bit better. Then I came in with some pattern paper that I'd inked. And I just used all green. I decided this was going to be a green page. And then I found this quote that matched all the lettering that I have on here. So yeah, it came together. It just took its sweet time. This is one that I actually finished the journaling on literally a couple of days ago. This is pattern paper, except for this. This is the inside of an envelope that you get in your junk mail. <laughs> These are from the planner pages from Grabby that they sent, the daily planner pages. And then I just filled them in again. Sometimes they have journaling, sometimes they don't. Sometimes it's just me playing with pen and stuff like that. This is me playing with two types of pen. I think actually this is three because I used a gold pen originally and then the gold ran out or it was bronze. It might have been bronze pen and the bronze ran out. So I had to go over the whole thing again in gold pen and then put thinner pen in between. I love patterns like this. I love drawing patterns like this. Just something fun and interesting to do. This is one that I really don't like, but I couldn't think of anything else to do on here. I was, again, not feeling, not feeling my cheeriest. And I wanted to do something on here. And I just ran out of inspiration. I painted the background and then I left it. I'd left it. I'd left it. I'd left it until... At the end of the month, I was just like, it needs something. And I came in, slapped down some die cut stickers and then called it a day. What I should have done was maybe journal on it, but I didn't. So yeah, this was the day. This was the day and this was how I did it. This was the day that I got my new printer. So 19 days till Halloween, got my new printer. I printed my witches off just on like paper, like thicker 32 pound paper. And I was like, I would like to put them in because it's the thing that I printed, the first thing that I printed on my printer. And I was like, okay, well, how can I do that? I've got boxes from, again, the Grabby, the Grabby Daily Sheets, these. I just used some boxes from there. And then I punched out some of these vellum circles. And I think there's three different sizes. I punched those and put those on. And then I was like, it just looks a bit odd. So then I kind of did squiggly lines on the circles and then added the pen work. And I think it came together. The only thing I don't like about this is that I didn't have any adhesive to adhere the vellum with that would stick to the page without wrinkling the vellum or without seeing it underneath. Now, apparently there is something called collage glue. I don't have any. So we're gonna have to put up with the fact that we've got little bits underneath the vellum and that's okay. This one is again, one that came together late in the month because I would sometimes just skip a day and then go onto a different page. So this came together later in the month. This 
is um, I think they're like peel and stick tiles from Dollar Tree. I think they're peel and stick, can you see? But they're kind of reflective. And then I just added some coordinating cardstock here and then journaled on it with silver pen. Called it done. Again, sometimes you just need a pen work day. This was another one that I did over the course of quite a few days because I would do a little bit playing with like boxes here. And then I was like, I'm bored of that now. What else do I want to do? So I added some of the lines around each one of those. Well, I'm bored of that now. I'm going to put in the swirly lines and then I came in and filled all the little gaps in. So this took quite a long time. And even now I see that I didn't do that bit, but I'm done, so we're done. Again, another one that I started one day and then finished over the course of three or four days later. I started off with the purple paint, with the purple paint that you can see in here, little, literally dobs of purple paint on this side. I think they come out to here with a wobbly side here. And this, can you see these little white bits? Let's literally white out. I just come in and do like little bricks of white out. White pen. This was from an old grabby box. White pen and that's it. And I just thought, you know, that's done. It's just a lesson in playing with paint, with pen, with tissue paper, with white out. We're done. This one was probably one of the ones that took the longest time. I put the red paper as the background in and then all of the little bits of paper that I'd had from cutting up my Project Life things, I stamped my pumpkin stamp that I put in here from the Dollar Tree and I stamped that and then coloured all the faces in with black pen, then cut around them and then layered them all in here. Now. Does it have a purpose? No. Was it fun? Heck yes. Heck yes. And it was fun also to just put them down in here and kind of arrange them in here. I loved this. It was so much fun. Again, another one that's just pen. I did the, the, the wiggly lines first. I did the wiggly lines first and then chose a few pens to do like diagonal lines, horizontal lines, vertical lines. And then I just put the sticker in, called it good. I like doing things like this as a break from this. Again, we've got paint, we've got paper, we've got a little like note card thing and then some magazine stuff and then some pen. And then this, this here is again, the surround from a sticker page. If I had something that I was using at the time, how can I use it in here? How can I play with it in my playbook? It's a playbook. This was one of the last pages that I did, even though it's like 12 days till Halloween. It was literally a couple of days ago before Halloween because I put the paper in, I stamped on the paper a little bit. You can see little blocks of stamp and I literally just took the stamp pad and plopped it on the page. These circles were like washi tape circles that I just went in and did the circles in and then put the lines in. And then I came in and did some journaling on top. Is it the best page? No. Was it fun to do at the time? Heck yes. And then we have another magazine page. And if you've seen one of my videos recently, you'll know that I was kind of feeling a little bit down and I just thought this was appropriate and the, <laughs> the magazine image. So yes, again, this was from an envelope, all this was from magazines. It's, it's, is it finished? Maybe not, but it's finished for now. This was one of the pages where I did something different on the left to the right. And I haven't done that much in this album, but this was from an old journal slash notebook. I don't remember who it was by or where it was from, but it's literally on one side, it's got like lined paper and the other side is just a quote. And then this is all from the grabby box previously. This background is from a journal from ages ago. And I've literally put, there is nothing to put on this list 
as right now I'm feeling so much overwhelm. And again, once I've had a few chaotic pages, we've got something where it's just pen or something like that. And I literally did this over, I want to say over like three days, but I would literally sit down for like 15 minutes, do all these little dashes. Okay, now I have 10 minutes, let's do some circles. All right, I've got another 10 minutes, let's do these, but they're gonna do them vertical rather than horizontal. Now let's do them this way. So I would come in at different points during the day as well as most days. But again, something like this, it's very meditative. So highly recommend. This is one that I literally just filled in the day of Halloween. So even though it says eight days before, I filled in the journaling like Halloween. All these are from the packaging from the Halloween box from Grabby. They don't stick in the page that well because again, they're like vellum and I don't have anything that holds vellum without you being able to see it. And then I found this fitness journal in my stash of magazine stuff. And then I just did some journaling about the fitness stuff from this month. And that's it. <laughs> this was the last page that I did for this album. And even though, again, it says seven days before, I did this on Halloween. So, but again, this page I did before Halloween. I probably did this in the middle of the month, but this page got done Halloween because I took this, this page I'd done earlier in the month, again, just playing with the pens. Cause again, if I'm playing with the pens here, then I would skip a few pages and play with them here. I just do a little bit of something on some page every day. This was from the grabby kit. I cut a hole out of here and then I wish I'd done more of this like cutting the holes out and things. Like I think this is something that I want to explore in a future, in a future journal. But I'd done this with stencils and the gold ink that I'd bought earlier in the month. Got the pens, I put this on here, did the little circle, little oval, and then I just literally traced the oval and then did the starburst type of thing, found a quote, this is a die cut and I've lifted it away from the page so it's dimensional and that was it, called it, called it good, I've played. And what have I played with? So many things. I've played with pen, I've played with die cut shapes and dimensional adhesive, stencils and metallic ink. I've played with metallic pens, I've played with pen and um, journaling cards, again like cutting things out. There's so many things that I've played with. This one again, using the leftover papers, and you'll see those, those have popped up so many times. There, there, there. They've popped up a lot, and I would just literally find some that paired together. This is from a magazine. I've had this in my stash so long, so long, and this just felt like this book has been my playground for the month. And then this page, again, I said, if I was using circles or something or some kind of stickers, could I put any of those stickers in this book? Could I use any of the scraps, any of the paint, any of the pens, the stickers, the washi, whatever? Could I use some from today in my book? And that's what I did here. I just put the backer sheet down on here, did the white pen, in different directions in the circles and then just put the journaling in and yeah that's just about being pissed off lately and not feeling life in general this one was so hard because i used the the tissue paper this is the wrapping inside the halloween box and you can see that's the wrapping inside the halloween box i stuck it to the page with a glue stick and then i tried to write on it with my Fidena Suke, but you couldn't see it. And then I tried to write on it with my Kurataki, but you couldn't see it. So I had to literally write on it with a permanent marker because it was kind of, it was kind of slick. The paper was kind of slick. So everything just kept like sinking into the paper. So this has had the same quote on it three times, three times. And it's basically just a Halloween quote. 
And then there's a little stuff about Halloween there. And this was from the packaging from the kit and stuff. Yeah. So this one, I almost gave up on. I almost gave up on. This was, again, just one of those pages. If I was working on something over here and I had the pens out, okay, this is going to be all little circles. If I'm using red over there, I'm going to do some red blobs here. And they're not like little O's. I literally do a blob and then I would come in with my pen and just do a little circle. Literally, that's all I would do. And some of these are paint. Some of these are pen. And then I just filled in the space with a silver pen when I was using a silver pen somewhere else. So again, it's literally just playing, just playing. And I don't know whether you can see, but there's some faint green pen here, faint green pen in a few sections because it didn't show up very well on the paper and I had to cover it up, but yeah. And then finally, this was the last page that I did and this was when my purple pen ran out. I was using it and it started to run out because I was going to fill in more of the more of the squares and it ran out. So I had to use some of the gold in the end. And then I was like, you know, I think it's fine. I'm just going to leave it. But at the end of the month, I just put, this has been such a fun thing to do. I am so very happy that I did it. Now I find myself thinking about November and beyond. And will this be a new like monthly practice that I do? All right. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you next time, my Planet Pals. Bye.